Employment in a nationally owned industry, the post office, appeals to thousands of boys each year. So John Truman applies for a job as a messenger. John, where was Dad born? Dad born? In Woolwich, of course. Filling in this form. Name of referee is to character. Must not be a schoolmaster or an employer. Now, who can we have for that? Not many employers offer a secure job with a pension at 60. So there is always a queue of applicants waiting to be interviewed. We're to be waiting for now. Come on, my son. Yeah. Well. 98 pound. What's the name of that island to the north of Wales, coloured green? Anglesey. William, put that tie straight. That's better. Well, I'll write to you in about a week's time to let you know whether we can offer you an appointment or not. Proud to be among the successful applicants, John finds his way to the post office on his first day. You're a very lucky boy to get into the post office. Now, uh, this being your first day in the service, I don't want you to worry. You're not afraid of me, are you? No. That's fine. Now, look here. We take boys in from all types of homes. For some boys, it is not so easy to study at home in the evenings. Others are more fortunate. But in the post office, each boy is given an equal chance. Now, we want our boys to be happy, and we want to help them out of their difficulties. So, come up and see me if ever you're in that position. The third quality is good behaviour. That doesn't mean that we expect you always to be looking serious, but we do expect you to have some sense of responsibility. If you get laughing about, you may get into serious trouble. You will be required to go to school. This means that you'll have to work very, very hard at home to pass your examination in two years' time. Don't mind that, sir. Oh, I say, Ambrose, will you chase me on Saturday? What? Oh, I'm going out, I will. Oh, that new messenger? Yes. Uh, you've got to go with the medical officer for an examination. Yes. Do you know where to go? No. More? <coughs> yes, sir. Take the fellow over to the medical department. The best thing for you to do, son, is to go across and see Mr. Pendry again. Ask him to put you under Mr. Simpson's care for physical exercises for three months. Steady. Down the dust stove. Slowly up. Stand easy. Drop him to Sims. Good old a new recruit. Hello, Sonny. What's the matter with you? Under heights. Under height, eh? Well, you are rather small, aren't you? I'll get you as big as a lifeguardsman. Sorry. You will be if you do it again. Come on, chip over. You want all the room? I say, have you got a pen knife you can lend me, please, Jones? No, sorry. Have you got one you can lend me, please, Mason? Sorry. Oh, okay, Cass. Got a pen knife you can lend me? You're going, to the, you're going to the outing, isn't you? No, are you? Yes. Having jolly good fun, there. Yeah? I'm only going to South End. Well, this uh, new boy, where does he live? In Barnhurst, sir. Barnhurst? Hmm. How did he come up this morning, you know? Workman's ticket, I believe, sir. Well, he can't afford a workman's ticket. Have you talked about the half-rate season ticket? No, one of those left on Brighton Station last year. There's a knife you ask for. Knife? What's that for? Right in tomorrow at the stadium club, Mace. Truman? Yes, sir. Now, you're going out to learn the delivery. Mort will take you out, and I want you to take particular notice of the streets and buildings and how to dispose of a telegram. Yes. Look after him, Mort. Yes. <whistles> That's Swanker over there. He's always getting in the row with the overseer. Here, come over here. No, I haven't got time now. Just on the left there. I've got another one up there on the right. Well, can I take the one up on the right? No, I can't do that. You get into trouble doing that, sorry. Go on, no one to know. Yeah, you get into trouble, I'll be telling you. Well, might it be quicker? All right, then they are. Let's have them in the corner in about three minutes' time. All right, thanks. Hello, son, what do you want? Two grand for brown, is that right? That's right, but they're out. Oh. Would you have any time what they'll be back? I think they've gone out for the day. What are you going to do now? Oh, I think I'll leave it and call back later. 
Uh, she delivered that. No, I went to the house and the gentleman in the garden said it wasn't any good as a wrap for the day. And did you knock the door? No, I didn't think it was necessary. Oh, you get me in trouble, come on. How do you like it? It's a right bit stuffy first day. I suppose I get too used to it. Oh, you'll soon get used to that. How did you get on today? <sighs> I passed the doctor and all that, but they say I'll have to grow a lot before I'm 18. Of course you will grow. So I should be down to Mr. Simpson at the Institute. What is that for? For school exercises? Yes, to make me grow. That's good. I'll be able to buy more milk for you now. You're earning 12 and 6 a week.